Honey, I know how much you still love Jason, and I know you still miss him. But I thought you made peace with the idea of moving on, and the fact that you took your wedding ring off was, was a big step, and, and an important one. And I just don't want to see you take all these steps backwards just because things didn't work out with you in silence. No, gosh, no, 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 Mom, that's not what I meant. Tomorrow is Jason's birthday. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't and realize that. next week would would have been our third wedding anniversary, and I feel like just with all these emotions and feelings, everything just felt so present, and that that's why I stopped things with Patrick and with Silas. You know, he didn't have a personal relationship with Jason. So that's why that's why it's different with Patrick. He knew Jason. Patrick saved Jason's life. As I recall, Jason and Patrick didn't like each other. Yeah, I think that's an understatement, Mom. They were always at odds with Robin in the middle. Helena Cassidine. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Let Mr. Morgan rest. I'm sure he's exhausted. It's not easy escaping my brother-in-law's facility. So I guess I should, uh, congratulate you on your return from the dead. It's lovely to be back. Of course, I should thank you, shouldn't I? You and Mr. Morgan. I must say that I am a little disappointed. I know he's been through a terrible ordeal, but... Given his reputation, I did expect him to put up more of a fight. Stay away from him. Oh, I'm not sure I care for your tone. But there's no reason we can't be civil now, is there? No. I am very grateful for what you've done for me, Dr. Scorpio Drake. Well, if it was up to me, I would have just let you die. It was Victor that forced me to develop the protocol for you and Starburst. Don't you dare speak his name now regrettably my son has met with an unfortunate demise but he will live on no thanks to that friend of yours Lulu. I take great comfort in knowing that she and her friends Look at what's coming to them. Very soon. So it sounds like you care about Sam. If you think you're ready, why don't you go for it? Well, it doesn't matter if I am or not, Sam. Sam's not ready, so. And to be honest, it's it's probably better that way. We need to focus on finding out who told Rafe to run us off the road. We need to, you know finish our investigation yeah well i don't really know if there's ever a perfect time so at some point you just kind of have to go for it it's nicholas yeah, maybe spit max in the low hey nicholas did you uh find out anything about your sister and the others no nothing definitive i think anna tracked down their location my security team is updating me regularly all right well, well if anna's on the trail then i'm sure they'll be home safe and sound at any time yeah, I keep telling myself that. Um, Listen, uh, before we go here, uh, there's actually something else that I need to talk to you about. Okay. Spencer. You mentioned this uh, story about Luke. Yeah, he did. He did? Great. Let's... Look, I'm, I'm so sorry for dragging you into this. I know that you and Sabrina have been through enough, but Spencer is convinced that Luke is this, this dangerous man, and normally I'd write it off to overactive imagination, but I can usually tell when my son is exaggerating and this is different. He's truly terrified. Do you think there's any truth to this? I don't know for sure, but Sam and I are, are on it and uh, we're going to do everything we can to find out the truth.